how to use Obsidian Graph View effectively. Hi there, today we will be learning more about the Graph View option here on Obsidian. This is a platform where it allows you to create notes or to uh, document all your ideas into one file. So what you can do is you can download Obsidian in through any browser you have, even Mac or iOS device or here on Windows. So what you can do is you can just click on this lower left corner of the screen and then you just click on the first icon and then here it will pop up that you can create a new vault. Just click on create new vault and then you can begin with naming the vault that you'll be creating and you can also um, choose what location you want the document to be located in. So here is how it would look like once you have created a new vault. So you will be able to add a new note here just by clicking the folder icon and then there is the paper and pencil icon here where it is allowing you to create new note and this is what it would look like. This is a sub note here where on the right side panel you'll be able to type in your ideas about the topic that you want to talk about. And then what you need to do here first is that you need to start creating your notes first before you will be able to um, effectively use the graph view here on this Obsidian Canvas platform. So the second thing that you will need to do as well is to make the connection. Once you have all the ideas noted or documented in here on Obsidian, into multiple notes, you can start making the connections of the different topics that you have. So for example, I have here a sample vault that I created. So here are topics that have varied meaning or varied stories, or these actually are just ideas about solemnity. And for solemnity here, I have different stories or different paragraphs that has a solemnity word or it's talking about solemnity in it. So here you can zoom in and zoom out just by scrolling into your mouse or just by pinching your touchpad. You can resize the font or you can zoom in and zoom out into the paragraph. So here what you can do is you can start, uh, before you will be able to start creating ideas about the word solemnity, what you actually did here is that before you come up with a certain topic with all, or this is actually connected to all of the other topics or notes that I have. So for example, I have the Grand Cathedral, Judge, Knight, Soldier, and Sunset. All of these ideas have the same word in common, which is solemnity, and you can actually highlight solemnity and then you can have it into another note where you can take more ideas and you can summarize all the other topics into this note here. So when you click on the three dots button on the right side panel of the screen, you'll be able to view a lot of settings. Here you will be able to view the link or open link views where you will be able, for example, for this note that we open here, you'll be able to see on what other topics are connected into the word or the topic that we are currently opening in. So for solemnity, since as I mentioned earlier, all of the other topics or notes that we have has the word solemnity or it's connected or it has the same um, endpoint where they all talk about solemnity. So here for, so solemnity is actually the main point for all of the topics or notes that I created, which means you will be able to connect these topics that I've created here so that you will be able to create the story or the video that, or the idea that you creating here or you are trying to create. 
So here under filters, you can actually choose as well whether you want to turn on the tags, attachments, existing files only, or what you can do here is you can actually, or the important thing here is neighbor links. When you click on it, you will be able to see the, the, a certain word where it will be highlighted. So you can actually look into groups, displays, the forces where you can also um, adjust the gravity of how or where the center force is. So it would be more emphasized in your graph view here on the right side panel of the screen. You can even uh, modify the thickness of the lines, the node size, and you can even add arrows as well if you want to know on which topic is connected into the specific or another topic that you have. So when you click an arrow, as you can see, all the other topics are connected to Solemnity or they are all pointing into Solemnity, which is an example. So here, when you click on neighbor links, you would actually be able to click the specific topic that you have. And then when you click on it, it will show you or it will show you the other topics, but it would highlight the two main topics that is connected or that is connecting it into. So you can reset it as well with this icon right just right beside the exit button. And it's important for you to turn on the neighbor links since it would definitely help you a lot. So for example, here on the left side panel, you click on a specific topic and you will be able to see that it only shows you the topics that it's getting linked into. So when you click on Solemnity, it shows you the other topics surrounding it. But if you choose a specific topic surrounding these, it will only show you Solemnity as what it's connected into. Since this is their common point for all the topics that we have created here on Obsidian. So what you can do here as well, so for example, you can open the graph view here, just the right beside the page view on the right left side tool you can actually look into those graphs and it could be similar to the graph of solemnity but it would be much more easier for us to look into the linked view here since for every topic that we click on it automatic automatically pops up the year or shows the graph view of that specific topic on what topics it's connected into. So it, with this idea that you know which topic is connected to another topic, you will be able to know on, or you will this will allow you to create more ideas about this topic. Another feature here is that you can actually drag a dot into another topic so that you will be able to know on which is the topic that it's connected into. So that's actually a good idea there. So for example, you have a lot of dots and then lines could be confusing. You can just click on the specific dot and then just drag it or move it around and then you'll be able to see on what links are it's or what links it is connected for that specific topic that you are looking into. And that's basically how you effectively use um, Obsidian Graph View. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.